Okay, so we're going to test your ability with free body diagrams. Uh, I've already shown you the questions. I'll show you them again, but I'm going to show you the answers now. So here is the first case. I have a bike, and I'm going to pull on the top handlebar. I'm pulling to the left. So which way will the bike move? This one should be pretty easy. Um, yes, it's going to move to the left. No real surprises there, hopefully. Okay. Now I'm going to attach the little rope, it's actually a bungee cord, to the top of the wheel, I'm going to pull it to the left. Uh, which way will the bike move? And, and when I say move, it's at rest, it starts to move, so really we're talking about acceleration. Which way does it accelerate? Okay, so here we go. Straighten the wheel. There you go. So it again accelerated to the left. So hopefully that's not too surprising. Let's draw a free body diagram. So I have the force up here at the top. The wheel wants to rotate in the same way that force is, is pulling anyway. And then we have two normal forces from the ground and the gravitational force pulling down. If I add up all these forces, then the net force is to the left and it accelerates to the left. That's, that's what you learn in physics, right? Okay, next and final question. What if I pull on the bottom of the wheel, which way will the bike accelerate? So remember the wheel wants to rotate one way, but I'm pulling in the way that it, the opposite way that it wants to rotate. So will it roll backwards or forwards? Here we go. Here's the answer. Hopefully you thought about this beforehand. Like that? I do. Okay, so some it moved, it accelerated to the left. The net force is still to the left. So the bike accelerates to the left. The wheel is still rotating the same way. Okay, it's not sliding. There has to be a frictional force on the tire, but the most important thing is to trust your free body diagram. So here's the free body diagram for the bike. Okay, so it looks just like before, except this force has moved down to the bottom, and now there's a small frictional force on the bottom of the wheel, which makes it rotate, uh, in this case, counterclockwise. But the bike's moving, accelerating to the left. Okay. So I think if the cool thing is if you change the angle that you pull this at, you can actually get the bike to slide and not roll at all. Um, and if you pull straight up, you can actually get the bike to go backwards. But in, in the case that I've shown, the net force is to the left, it accelerates to the left. Don't trick yourself into thinking something else. So the moral of the story is that free body diagrams still work. Trust your free body diagrams.